Hey guys, how's it going? You knew this video was coming. The five reasons you should get a Tegu. We're gonna not be talking about Colombians per se this video since they have quite a different attitude than the Argentine Tegu that we're so fond of. So let's get to it and we'll go through the five reasons why I think a Tegu is a great pet. So for number five, I always like to make the fifth one sort of out of the box, a little quirky. And number five is that you can save a Tegu's life. You can also contribute to stopping the invasive species problem in Florida, and that's getting a wild caught tegu. There's companies, businesses more so, that sell wild caught tegus like tegus only. I believe my head mod Medusa Cortana in the Discord, she got her tegu from tegus only, and she has said nothing but great things about her tegu. Backtracking a bit, like I said, you could basically save a tegu's life by helping the invasive species problem in a place like Florida. So when they're out in the wild, not only are they killing native species to Florida, but they are also being caught in the wild and taken back. People are being paid to do this, and I believe they go and euthanize some of them. So by supporting these businesses that sell wild caught tegus, you're going against putting them down. You're again contributing to stopping the invasive species problem in Florida, which is a very prevalent problem down there. It's a lot of great things you can be doing. And unlike the typical wild caught reptile, wild caught tegus in Florida are not that bad in terms of personality and being a little hard to tame down. Everything I've heard from people who've gotten their tegus from places like tegus only has been pretty good in terms of interacting and bonding. It's still pretty much there with the captive bred tegus. Now it does seem that they're a little bit more crazy and I'm not going to say that on average they're probably a little bit harder to tame down down and interact with, but it's definitely not as bad as a lot of wild caught reptile reputations have come. Have come? I think I mean have previously been developed or something like that. I, I don't know where it came, come, come, came. <laughs> where come has come from. This is a weird conversation. Anyway, so that's my quirky out of the box number five. Number four, enclosure design and enrichment. So one of the fun things about having a Tegu is there's so many cool customization things you can do with their enclosures. I have a custom, completely custom, basking hide spot that I really enjoy. I'm gonna be updating that very soon to a new one that I like. And you just can get innovative. It's just really cool if you're very crafty. I think their enclosures are definitely fun to work with. And you have a much larger space since they're a large reptile. It's just really fun to work with their enclosures. Additionally, providing enrichment in those enclosures out of those enclosures. Tegus are just so adept to working with different enrichment things, whether that's taking them outside. They're one of the few reptiles you can really walk outdoors and it not be a terrible experience. There's just so many cool things you can do with them enrichment wise that you can't really do with other reptiles, even other pets. Soon I plan to be doing an enrichment video with my Tego. I did that for my Aki and my Russian tortoise before and I just didn't get to the other reptiles, but it's gonna be a fun one. There's a lot of cool puzzle solving things you can do with them, so that's definitely a perfect to Tegu's. You know guys, I could have left that out, but I left that in just for you guys. So if you enjoyed hearing me scream like a little girl because there was a little bee flying in front of my head, make sure to subscribe in that lower right hand corner. Hit that bell as well for more bee related Scare John updates. Number three, feedings. So tegu feedings are one of the best feedings in terms of reptiles. They have such a diverse palate in terms of things you can offer them and that they'll eat that I thought the bee was on my toe, that's why I looked down. But in terms of what they'll eat, they have such a diverse palate. So it's so fun to offer them new food items, see how they react. I love, not really because it's kind of annoying, but Frapp will sort out what he likes and doesn't like when I do some custom mix. And it's funny, it's enjoyable. Repti Links too, I posted a video a bit ago where he thought he kept having a Reptilink in his mouth, but he kept like dropping it and it was just very funny. A lot of people were watching it and laughing at it. Hopefully I'll put it up over this video, but they're just so fun to watch, eat, try new things, and you can just incorporate so many 
cool non-reptile usual things. I'm having a bad word day today, guys. In their diet, though, it's just very fun. A bit bizarre, maybe, but it's kind of cool to see what foods they like and not like, and then have conversations like you're talking about your child and be like, yeah, my tegu, he really likes kiwis. What is your tegu like? What's his favorite food? It's just really funny to have those type of conversations like you're talking about your own kid. So if you like watching reptile feeding videos on YouTube or something, or enjoy and find yourself watching your reptiles eat, Tegus will definitely be a good one for you because I always just watch when Frap eats. It's always entertaining seeing how he goes about it, how he tries things, and especially when he tries new things. Number two, a great intro large reptile. Now don't get me wrong, tegus are not a walk in the park in terms of husbandry and care. They can be very demanding and something you really need to pay attention to and double check things like humidity because that's oh so important. But they are definitely good personality wise for something that's larger reptile wise. So if you're coming in looking at a tegu with previous reptile experience just maybe with smaller reptiles i do think a tegu is in your ballpark and definitely better than larger monitor lizards not that some monitor lizards might not be fitting for uh intro large reptile or something like that i just think personality wise demeanor wise you have more calmness in a tegu and that's definitely a plus when trying to get adjusted to a larger reptile i said this previously but i get intimidated by frap many times he's a large powerful muscular lizard and he could definitely leave a mark on me if he wanted to. So it's good that my first experience with a large reptile is one that's more docile. So that way, if I want to get into monitors who are a little bit more iffy in terms of their interactions, they could be a little bit more moody, then I have some experience with a larger reptile to know sort of how they act, the power capabilities they have, and such like that, and know how to handle a large reptile in case I get in iffy situations or need to read them. And trust me, there's a a lot of differences between smaller and larger reptiles when you're dealing with a larger reptile there is more trust you can't just almost I find myself sometimes like with my Aki's just kind of reaching in there and grabbing them I might not necessarily always check their mood right away or anything and that's mostly because I know if I get nipped or something like that it's not the end of the world I also have a pretty good repertoire with most of them I know fancy terminology today but with a larger reptile you just can't reach in and grab them it's a mutual trust a mutual respect when they're grumpy and don't want to be messed with you got to leave them alone you can't try to get them over that and just continue with your your action your your approach to them you have to step back respect them and try a different way or just leave them alone altogether so if your ultimate goal is to work with larger reptiles a tegu is a good intro to that it's good practice with a calmer reptile finally the number one reason tegus make good pets their capability to bond with their keeper Very cliche number one, but it's just oh so true. The best, most appealing thing of a tegu is their bonding capabilities. I believe that all reptiles have some capacity to bond and earn trust and respect with their owner, but tegus show it more so than any reptile I've seen. To me, they're the only reptile I feel like you can visually see your bond and trust for me. Wanna see what I mean? Record your tegu if you just got a newborn or even just got an adult or are getting one soon. In the beginning, their actions around you and such like that, and then record them after a couple years, and you'll see the tongue flicks are different, they're more calm and relaxed, their demeanor around you is more relaxed, their approach to you is more relaxed. They almost look happy. Now, obviously this comes with working with the tegu and being present in their life. Like I said, they could be kind of demanding, especially socially. So you do have to put in some time. Some of us get lucky like myself and have a tegu who just really connects with you off the bat. But if you put in the time, you will definitely see what I'm talking about. My favorite thing about Frappuccino, my tegu, is just the connection I have with him. I have emotional connections to him, not from him, but to him. Just when I'm around him, I just feel this sense of understanding. It's hard to explain, but it's really the only reptile I have that I feel that around. I feel like if you're looking for a connection similar to a cat or a dog, not that it's near that level, you would want to go towards a tegu. That's, that's the best 
best you're gonna get out of a reptile is what a tegu is capable of. So yeah, super cliche, but it has to be said. That's by far the number one reason to get a tegu. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for me. No secret sixth one this time like I did with the Aki Monitor one. Put that in the top right if you're into the Aki Monitor version of this, but stay tuned for a couple announcements. Shout out to the patrons, Mahans, Bioactive Reptiles, Brian B, Smooth Cat, Herb M, David T, and Angela L. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. You guys, too, can support the channel for as little as a dollar a month. Check the top right for more information. Support the channel in a different way with some cool merch. I'll put that to the left of my head, right of your screen. We have four different designs. I am wearing my Professor Herp logo shirt today, but we also have Aki Monitor, Bearded Dragon, and Tegu designs up there. Really cool, really fun to wear to a convention. If you're interested in those pieces of merch, that will be in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.